Next question is from Gaijin American, who is asking, corporations are now buying large amounts of farmland and farmers are forced to lease their land from those corporations. Would you consider this to be feudalism? Uh, correct, Susan, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't it feudalism, feudalism is under peasants or the serfs? Are they not like forced to live the way they're living? Like they kind of like don't have. Maybe I, I it depends. Like I mean, they're technically like a semi slave. You know what I mean? Like, I think like, I don't think it's the same thing because I think like in, if somebody comes and buys your farmland, you're like, that was voluntarily. And then if you like now have a farm and you're like, we're hiring people to come work here, right? Anybody who like, okay, I want to come work here. They're technically, because they accepted that deal, accepted that contract or their employee contract or whatever, they went from a worse off situation to a better off situation because they entered into this. You made the, like you buy, you bought this farm and you're like, putting up job offers and so whoever is accepting the job offer you're making their lives better right my understanding of feudalism which could be wrong because i haven't looked into it that much is that the people who are working under your farms under feudalism they are screwed like they this is like this is the there's no way out of what they're doing <laughs> you know what i mean like this is like this is why you're treating you like a lord like you basically you have so much control over their lives. Like you could like do whatever you want to them. You could, this is why like it's a step between capitalism and slavery. Like technically they're not, they're, they're not as, they're not close. They're not as close to employees under capitalism. They're closer to what came before them, which was like slaves. Right. But is that, is that a fair assessment to say like the, yeah, I don't think it's the same because just because you own land that doesn't make it feudalism is not when somebody owns a lot of land that's what what I if mean. you know they're like well this is modern feudalism by you know creating this disparity and then like upwards dependency because of buying out resources in major I mean, conglomerates you're not i mean you're not well technically the person who's buying the land was the person that had the resources to make um make this land available for farming you know what i mean like somebody came in and is providing the capital to make it possible for people to come work there without that capital these farmers wouldn't have been able to do such a thing i mean if they were they would have been outbidding that person right so the resources that is required to make this farmland available for farming to these farmers, right? And also it's like you're you're creating more upward mobility because of the capital that you're providing to you know to these farms. Now the person that didn't have a job is now able to come and be like, hey, I I work on your farm. So you're pay technically by doing this, you're lifting people up. You're not holding them down, you're providing potential, you're providing opportunity for people that didn't have a job to now have more jobs. So I don't like, you know, under feudalism, they're like, it's kind of like you're holding people hostage. <laughs> like you're like, you want to eat, you better work. Okay. Here is like, you have another job. Well, there are more jobs because now there are more jobs. That means you could potentially get paid higher than what I, before I, I'm providing, if you, if you throw more money at farming, farmers are now going to get, paid more than they used to there's going to be more demand there's going to be more um you know there's going to be a, a, somebody is showing a demand for what farmers can provide so the the price of the labor of farmers is going to increase so not only you're not pro holding them hostage just like the lords did under feudalism what they did to the serfs what you're doing is providing an opportunity for them to earn more than they than what you than before so i think this is the opposite yeah uh, oxymoron is saying in the left chat feudalism is sort of like caste but not slave slave there's minimal social mobility more like caste yeah okay so there's exactly so oxymoron is correct there, there's there's minimum social mobility but when you when an investor comes and throws money at farming 
you're increasing social mobility because there's more demand for work now. So that's there's a I think there's a difference. Yeah. Um, Does that make sense? Did that make any sense? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.